hello and welcome to my youtube channel chemvis in this video we are going to discuss ampullang chemistry it's a very important topic related to organic synthesis watch this video till the end without skipping if you want to have a grip on this topic we will discuss the following points basic understanding of ampullang acyl anion synthetic equivalence under this head we will discuss 1,3 dithion, cyanohydrin, protected cyanohydrin, intermediates in thiazolium salt catalyzed reactions, T butyl hydrazones, metallated enol derivatives, nitronate anions, lithium acetylide, and cyanide ion. Next point will be homo enolates. And finally, synthetic equivalence of beta carbon ampullang of alpha beta unsaturated ester. Let's start with the basic understanding of ampullang. In an organic molecule, different functional groups have their inherent, also called normal polarity, and based on that, they can behave either as a nucleophile or an electrophile. Suppose we have a hypothetical molecule that has a functional group F. Its inherent or normal polarity is positive and because of that it behaves as an electrophile. Let's modify the functional group F in such a way to get modified molecule that has F with negative polarity and now it behaves as a nucleophile. This reversal of polarity of functional group is called ampullang. Similarly, reversal of nucleophile to electrophile will also be called as ampullang. This modification allows secondary reactions of functional group that would otherwise not possible. Now, let's discuss normal polarity of different carbons. Majority of target molecules of organic synthesis contain nitrogen and oxygen as heteroatoms in their functional groups like amino, imino, nitro, hydroxyl, ether and carbonyl. These heteroatoms impose an alternating positive and negative polarities on the carbon skeleton. Suppose we have a molecule having an aliphatic carbon chain with a heteroatom X attached to it where X is nitrogen or oxygen. If you label the carbon atoms of aliphatic chain giving lowest number to the carbon attached to the heteroatom as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 then the normal polarity of carbons with odd numbers is positive while the normal polarity of those with even numbers is negative. Thus, if we have a carbonyl compound, then carbonyl, beta and delta carbons will have positive polarity while alpha, beta, alpha gamma and epsilon carbon will have negative polarity. Now for better understanding of ampullang, let's go through the retrosynthetic analysis of few molecules. Suppose we have to make this target ketone. To find the reagents, we will do retrosynthetic analysis. In the first approach, we can cleave this bond to get a silium ion and carbon ion as synthons. In the second approach, cleavage of the same bond will give acyl anion and carbocation. The acylium ion has positive polarity on the carbonyl carbon which is natural. So the first approach is normal approach. On the other hand, the acyl anion has negative polarity on the carbonyl which is the reverse of the normal polarity. So, the second approach is called ampullang approach. There are 
several acyl anion synthetic equivalents available that will be discussed in detail later. Retrosynthesis of 1,2 diketone. This can be done by the cleavage of CC bond between two carbonyls. This cleavage can give acylium ion with R and acyl anion with R prime or acyl anion with R and acylium ion with R prime. In the first approach, acyl anion with R prime has reversed polarity while in the second approach acyl anion with R. Since both approaches involve at least one fragment with the polarity reversed to the normal polarity, so both the approaches will be ampelong. In the case of 1,4 diketo compound, cleavage of CC bond between alpha carbon and carbonyl result a fragment with positive charge on beta carbon and acyl anion or a fragment with negative charge on beta carbon which is also called homoenolate and acylium ion. The fragment with the positive charge on the beta carbon has normal polarity while acyl anion has reversed polarity. The homoenolate has reversed polarity while acylium ion has normal. So, this approach will be ampelung approach. If we disconnect this bond, it will give two fragments, one with positive charge on the carbon alpha to the carbonyl and other with negative charge on the carbon alpha to the carbonyl or we can say an enolate. The cationic fragment has reverse polarity while anion has normal. Since one of the two fragments has reverse polarity, so this approach will also be ampelung approach. With the discussion we have done so far, now we are able to understand ampelung. Next, we are going to discuss different synthetic equivalents for the fragments with the reverse polarity. First is acyl anion equivalent. We have seen in the beginning that carbonyl carbon is electrophilic in nature. If anyhow we can revert the nature of carbonyl carbon from electrophilic to nucleophilic then this modification will be called as ampelung. There are several synthetic equivalents to the carbonyl anion like 1,3-dithion, cyanohydrin, protected cyanohydrins, intermediates in thiazolium salt catalyzed reaction, T-butyl hydrazones, metallated enol derivatives, nitronate anions, lithium acetylide, cyanide ion, etc. 1,3-dithion as acyl anion equivalent. 1,3-dithion is a six-member ring heterocycle with four CH2 units and two sulfur atoms in the ring where the sulfur atoms have 1,3 relation. It acts as a stable protecting group for aldehyde. An aldehyde reacts with propane 1,3-dithyl in the presence of protic or Lewis acid to produce 1,3-dithyan or two substituted 1,3-dithyan depending upon whether the starting material is formaldehyde or any other aldehyde. The pKa of the hydrogen at C2 is 31. It can be abstracted by strong base like N-butyl lithium to produce carbonyl. Larger CX bond length and greater polarizability of valence electrons of the sulfur make it more stable and more nucleophilic. This carbonyl can react with a variety of electrophiles to produce substituted 1,3-dithyan which 
after hydrolysis in the presence of mercuric ion regenerates aldehyde or ketone. If you look at the polarity of the carbonyl carbon in the product, it is positive and normal. That has been derived from the carbon that has negative polarity. Thus, there is revulsor of polarity of carbon during the synthesis. And therefore, this is an example of Ampelung strategy for the synthesis of carbonyl compounds. Now, let's see what type of molecules we can make using dithane ampoulin strategy. The first is synthesis of aldehyde. Unsubstituted 1,3-dithane reacts with N-butyl lithium to produce carbenan, which is then allowed to react with an alkyl halide to produce 2-alkyl-1,3-dithane. 2-alkyl-1,3-dithane after hydrolysis in the presence of mercuric cation gives aldehyde. Second is synthesis of ketone, 1,4-diketone, beta-hydroxyketone, beta-aminoketone, 1,2-diketone, alpha-hydroxyketone, beta-ketoester and alpha-ketocarboxylic acid from an aldehyde. For this transformation, an aldehyde is converted to 2-substituted 1,3-dithyene which is then allowed to react with N-butyl lithium to produce carbonyl. This carbonyl reacts with alkyl halide, alpha-beta unsaturated ketone in the presence of HMPA, epoxide, n tosyl aziridine, ester or amide, aldehyde or ketone, ethyl chloroformate and carbon dioxide to produce intermediates A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H respectively. These intermediates after hydrolysis respectively give ketone, 1,4-diketone, beta-hydroxyketone, beta-aminoketone, 1,2-diketone, alpha-hydroxyketone, alpha-ketoester and alpha-ketocarboxylic acid. Cyanohydrin as acyl anion equivalent. For understanding this, let's take the example of benzoin condensation in which two benzaldehyde molecules in the presence of cyanide ion as a catalyst produce benzoin. In this reaction, one benzaldehyde molecule undergoes addition of cyanide ion to produce alkoxide ion of cyanohydrin, which after proton abstraction from water give cyanohydrin. Hydroxide ion abstracts alpha proton of cyanohydrin to produce carbon ion of cyanohydrin which adds to the second molecule of benzaldehyde to produce alkoxide ion. Proton shifting gives another alkoxide ion which eliminates cyanide ion to produce benzene. If we look at the polarity of the carbonyl carbon in benzaldehyde, it is positive, while in the carbon ion of cyanohydrin, it is negative. Thus, there is reversal of polarity of the carbonyl carbon and the carbon ion of cyanohydrin acts as acyl anion equivalent. Intermediates in thiazolium salt catalyzed reactions as acyl anion equivalent. The general structure of a thiazolium cation can be drawn like this. In the presence of a base, this proton gets abstracted to produce a lead. The electrophilic carbon of aldehyde is attacked by nucleophilic carbon of a lead to produce beaten like a structure which after proton exchange produces 1,3 dipolar compound. 
it can reacts with aldehyde to produce 1,5 dipolar intermediate which after proton exchange produces 1,4 dipolar intermediate. This intermediate then liberates benzoin by regenerating a lid. The 1,3 dipolar intermediate can also react with a variety of Michael acceptors to produce this 1,4 dipolar intermediate which liberates 1,4 addition product by regenerating a lid. Thus, in this reaction, the 1,3 dipolar intermediate acts as acyl anion equivalent. Protected cyanohydrin as acyl anion equivalent. Cyanohydrin with O protected with ether act as acyl anion equivalent. It can be synthesized by the reaction between cyanohydrin and alkyl vinyl ether in the presence of acid as a catalyst. In the presence of a strong base like LDA, it gets deprotonated to produce carbonion which after reaction with alkyl halide produces protected cyanohydrin of ketone. After acidic hydrolysis, in the it gives cyanohydrin of ketone which after treatment with dilute NaOH gives ketone. An attractive alternative to this protocol involves nucleophilic acylation of alkylating agents with aromatic or heteroaromatic aldehydes via trimethyl silyl protected cyanohydrins. This trimethyl silyl protected cyanohydrin can be synthesized by the reaction between aromatic or heteroaromatic aldehyde and trimethyl silyl cyanide in the presence of zinc iodide as a catalyst. In the presence of LDA, deprotonation occurred to produce carbonion which after reaction with alkyl halide gives trimethyl silyl protected cyanohydrin of ketone. Trimethyl silyl deprotection and elimination of cyanide ion gives ketone. Lithiated enol ether as acyl anion equivalent. Lithiated salt of enol ether acts as acyl anion equivalent. It can be generated by the reaction between enol ether and T butyl lithium. It reacts with alkyl halide to produce new substituted enol ether, which after acidic hydrolysis gives ketone. Lithium acetylide as acyl anion equivalent. Lithium acetylide reacts with alkyl halide to produce monosubstituted acetylene which after hydration in the presence of mercuric ion under acidic condition gives ketone. The lithium salt can undergo 1 to addition with aldehyde or ketone to produce propargyl alcohol derivative which after hydration gives alpha hydroxy ketone t-butyl hydrazone as acyl anion equivalent t-butyl hydrazone derived from an aldehyde acts as acyl anion equivalent it reacts with n-butyl lithium to produce resonance stabilized anion which can react with a variety of electrophiles like alkyl halide aldehyde ketone Michael acceptors to produce 1,2 disubstituted azine which can tautomerizes to new tubutyl hydrazone. This new tubutyl hydrazone after acidic hydrolysis keeps product that depending upon a structure of electrophile can be a ketone, alpha hydroxy ketone, 1,4 diketone, 4 oxoaldehyde, 4 oxoester etc. Primary nitronate salt as acyl anion equivalent. 
primary nitroalkane 1 in the presence of a suitable base produces primary nitronate salt 2 which can react with a variety of electrophiles it reacts with alkyl halide to produce nitroalkane 3 with aldehyde beta hydroxy nitroalkane 4 and with alpha beta unsaturated compounds gamma nitro carbonyl compound 5 these compounds 3 4 and 5 after neph reaction respectively give ketone 6 alpha hydroxy ketone 7 and 1 4 dicarbonyl compound 8 here we can see that in the nitronate ion the polarity of this carbon is negative while the carbonyl carbon in the product derived from the same carbon has positive polarity which is normal polarity since there is reversal of polarity of the carbon during synthesis so this is an example of ampoulin strategy for the synthesis of carbonyl compounds cyanide and as formal hydroxycarbonyl and alkoxycarbonyl anion equivalent cyanide ion has negatively charged carbon atom it reacts with alkyl halide to produce alkyl nitrile which can react with dibal to produce aldehyde complete hydrolysis with hcl in water gives carboxylic acid and alcoholysis in the presence of HCl gives ester. The natural polarity of carbonyl carbon in these carbonyl compounds is positive, which has been derived from the negatively charged carbon of cyanide. So, this is an example of Ampoulin strategy for making these carbonyl compounds. Homo enolates as beta carbon anion equivalent. Homo enolates are enolates in which the beta carbon is negatively charged instead of alpha carbon. In a carbonyl compound, as we have already seen that the normal polarity of beta carbon is positive, but in homo enolates it is negative. Thus, homo enolates are synthetic equivalents for beta carbon ampullum. Let's take the example of zinc based homo enolates. Two equivalents of one trimethyl siloxy, one alkoxy cyclopropane reacts with zinc chloride in ether to produce zinc homo enolate of alkyl propionate. This homo enolate possesses chelate structure which induces a particular stability to the complex. Zinc Homo enolate is very less reactive towards 1 to addition on aldehyde or ketone to produce homo reformaski product in a variety of solvent but in the presence of trimethylsilyl chloride in CdCl3 or CCl4 it undergoes 1 to addition to produce TMS producted homo reformaski product. It reacts with acid chloride in the presence of copper 1 or palladium catalyst and two equivalents of HMPA in THF or ether to produce gamma ketoester. With allyl chloride in the presence of two equivalents of trimethylsilyl chloride, nickel second catalyst, two equivalents of HMPA in THF, it undergoes SN2 reaction to produce substituted product. However, with the same allyl chloride in the presence of copper 1 catalyst, in the absence of trimethylsilyl chloride in HMPA or DMA, it undergoes SN2 prime reaction to produce isomeric product. With alpha beta unsaturated ketone in the presence of copper 1 catalyst, two equivalents of TMS chloride or BF3 etherate in HMPA it undergoes Michael addition to produce 
one for a decent product. Trimethyl silyl enol ether based homo enolates. Acyl trimethyl silane when treated with vinyl magnesium bromide affords corresponding alpha trimethyl silyl allyl alcohol. In the presence of butyl lithium corresponding alkoxide ion is formed which undergoes Brook rearrangement to produce this chelated homo enolate. It reacts with alkyl iodide to produce Z silyl enol ether which can further be silyl deprotected to produce ketone or can react with electrophiles like alkyl halide, aldehyde, ketone and Michael acceptors to produce substituted ketone. Synthetic equivalent for beta carbon ampullung of alpha beta unsaturated ester. For this, let's take the example of cyclization of E ethyl 7 bromo hep 2 eno 8 in the presence of 10% triaryl triazoleum salt and K3PO4 in DME at 80 degrees centigrade to produce ethyl 2 cyclopentylidine acetate. We know that the beta carbon of alpha beta unsaturated ester has positive polarity but formation of five membered ring suggests that during reaction its polarity was changed to negative so that it could behave like a nucleophile. Let's go through the mechanism to understand this polarity reversal. In the presence of base it keeps N heterocyclic carbene which undergoes 1,4 addition to alpha beta unsaturated ester to produce 1,5 dipolar species which subsequently tautomerizes to 1,2 dipolar species with negative polarity on the beta carbon to the carbonyl. This species is the synthetic equivalent to the beta carbon ampullung of alpha beta unsaturated ester. Now this can undergo intramolecular nucleophilic substitution to produce this salt which eliminates N heterocyclic carbene to produce product. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.